Hello, and welcome back to XRP Vault, where we bring you the most recent and intriguing XRP news. We're giving away 10,000 XRP to those who are watching, all you have to do is upvote, subscribe, comment XRP is king and watch the video to the end to be eligible. The winners will be picked next month and publicized on the community page of the channel. The price of XRP has recently undergone an extremely bizarre change. In this video, I will discuss what just occurred and what it could indicate for the price of XRP in the future. According to several prominent TA experts, this could be the bottom for XRP. In this video, we will also discuss how the government is becoming much more comfortable with Bitcoin and blockchain technology. At the conclusion of this video, I will discuss a key change I am currently observing that might be incredibly bullish for cryptocurrencies in the future so please stay tuned for that. I'd like to begin this video by discussing a story that is consistently promoted by the mainstream media. And I believe it is very crucial to address. Ben Rickard recently stated that Bitcoin is a decentralized Ponzi scheme to prove me incorrect. And guys, I just thought it was really essential to address this because I know that we discuss a lot about Bitcoin's criticisms on this channel, including how its energy consumption is too high and how it is unlikely to dominate the payment environment. And there are further Bitcoin flaws, since this does not make Bitcoin a wicked asset. There are countries throughout the globe that have significant currency challenges. These currencies are hyperinflating at a rate of 90% per year, and for a long time, individuals living in these countries had no way out, they were compelled to keep a currency that was devaluing at a rate of 90% per year, and they had no recourse. Bitcoin offered these individuals the promise of a currency that was neither hyperinflationary nor subject to government manipulation. And. So. Bitcoin gave them an asset that everyone could hold, all they needed was internet access, and voila, they had a store of value. People in the United States now enjoy making fun of this. They like to claim, oh, it's not a store of value, because the price fell by 60%. Last year, though, their currency was already hyperinflating by 90% a year. Therefore, the fact that some of them were caught in a brief bear market is not particularly significant. In reality, Bitcoin has gained a tremendous amount over the past decade. And for some, it is simply an escape. It is a method for escaping their fraudulent banking systems. In response to this, I tweeted that the US financial system is a centralized Ponzi scheme, prove me incorrect. Whether or not you believe Bitcoin is a Ponzi scheme, you believe it will not function as a payment system. People are utilizing it for its intended purpose, it processes more transactions annually than Visa, so you may call it a decentralized Ponzi scheme and criticize Bitcoin for not being a wonderful asset for payments. However, this does not indicate that it does not solve an issue. Clearly, it is. And I believe it's quite important to note that nobody is compelled to use Bitcoin. When residing in the United States, you are required to participate in the American financial system. And gentlemen, they simply inflate the currency by printing infinite amounts of money. And it is difficult to even comprehend what money signifies today. People are opting for Bitcoin since it is a code that is easy to grasp and fair for all network users. Bitcoin is the most fundamental cryptocurrency, which is why I'm so adamant about addressing this. If you cannot comprehend why Bitcoin has value and why people are utilizing it, you will never comprehend the remainder of cryptocurrencies. As Bitcoin has limits, it will never solve the payment problem like XRP but when you see these tales being promoted by non-coiners, you must realize that they don't. Even comprehend the fundamentals. In order to truly comprehend cryptocurrencies, gentlemen are required. You wish to comprehend why people are utilizing Bitcoin, but why will not Bitcoin function for payments? And that, gentlemen, is how you arrive at XRP. You will arrive at an asset with all the benefits of Bitcoin in terms of decentralization and an escape from the existing financial system, but with lightning fast speeds and efficiency. I hope this makes sense, guys. I'm aware that we've discussed numerous times on this channel how Bitcoin won't be used for payments and how Bitcoin Maxter is insane, but it's imperative that you understand that just because Bitcoin isn't ideal for payments does not make it a decentralized Ponzi scheme. It is used throughout the world. No one is compelled to use it, gentlemen. Now I'd like to discuss the XRP pricing because something really fascinating occurred the other day, and I believe it's vital that we discuss it. Nonetheless, this was tweeted by Crypto Insight. Why did XRP suddenly have a 10% decline in the last minute, and why are so many people tweeting that this is a liquidity grab? So that's what a liquidity grab is, and we know we had one since this candle looks so intriguing. In essence, whales manipulate the price of XRP by driving it down and then purchasing it back up. 
The reason whales behave in this manner is because they are typically aware of the locations of retail sell orders. Say, for instance, a giant whale is aware that a kilogram of merchandise has sell orders at 32 cents per kilogram. This whale will influence the price of XRP downward to compel those sell orders to hit, and then buy up the retail XRP at lower pricing, say 30 cents. This will push retail to sell their bags to whales, who can then expand their holdings of XRP at a lesser cost. This appears to be precisely what we have. Nonetheless, it is crucial to note that XRP has strong support in the 30 cent range, we have had similar situations in which the price keeps falling and cannot find a bottom. This did not occur in this instance, as XRP was consumed again. This indicates that XRP has substantial support at 30 cents. And guys, if we examine a longer term chart, we can see that XRP is merely grinding along this trend line without breaking through. This is highly intriguing because the liquidity grab occurred precisely here. And gents, if we simply sketch the apex of this structure, we can see that we are still well within this enormous triangle. Now, gentlemen, a number of individuals dislike these triangles, while others adhere to them closely. I personally find them to be rather intriguing, and not because they are some sort of magical shape. But what is occurring is that the lows are increasing and the highs are decreasing. This causes the price to be extremely compressed until a huge move to the upside or fall occurs. Obviously, we hope that this movement is positive. And it will be fascinating to see whether this ties to an event such as Ripple defeating the SEC in court. Regardless, I am keeping a close eye on this, and a blockchain backer has produced a film highlighting a similar development. Now blockchain supporter conducts a very different type of technical analysis, he focuses on Elliott waves. But what he is demonstrating here, and I believe this is Litecoin, is that XRP just went through a complete collapsing structure and will now go sideways for a couple months before a major breakout to the upside. It's somewhat coincident with what I've been examining in this triangle, which I found quite fascinating. It is currently hard to accurately depict where this triangle will conclude. Nobody knows where this will take place. But what we are actually hoping for is for XRP to continue to move sideways until it eventually breaks to the upside. And it resembles blockchain when viewed in reverse, with a slightly different perspective but the same. Outcome. The good news, however, is that it appears that this liquidity event may have marked the XRP market bottom. Consequently, it will be extremely intriguing to see XRP's behavior over the following two weeks. But, gentlemen, I think it's safe to say that if XRP starts grinding sideways, it might signal that the XRP market has just reached its low. And gentlemen, we may have far better days ahead of us. I would like to conclude this video by discussing a surprise but optimistic development in our government that I am now observing. Now, regrettably, this is not happening at the SEC, as many members of our government, specifically the Treasury, are becoming increasingly positive on cryptocurrencies. They are currently dismissing a great deal of crypto-related rumors that they did not in the past. But guys, that is a tremendous advance. This is an interview with Nelly Lang, which I won't play because it's a bit dull. In this interview, however, she disregards the fact that crypto assets are utilized more for criminal operations than currency. These leaders are beginning to distance themselves from the food and begin discussing the genuine benefits cryptocurrencies might bring to our financial system. Now, gentlemen, this is something we did not observe one year ago. Two years ago, we were not observing this phenomenon. And two years ago, several government agencies were still claiming that cryptos are primarily used for money laundering and have no place in our financial system. Well, gentlemen, we are beginning to observe a rapid shift in this story. And this is an excellent illustration of things occurring right now. Because ultimately, I really hope we see a lot more stuff like this, and I have a feeling we will. One of the biggest things we noticed was that in the executive order issued by the current administration, it was stated that we want the various regulators to help cryptocurrency grow in the United States, rather, than push it offshore. Now, it appears that a number of agencies are being compelled to align with that. And many storylines have shifted from being skeptical of Bitcoin to being more supportive of figuring out how to regulate it effectively in the United States. It would be absolutely fantastic if the SEC could support this initiative. Unfortunately, we have not yet observed any indications of this. To be fair, I expected the Treasury under Janet Yellen would be equally gloomy on cryptocurrencies, but we're beginning to see a significant shift in that department. Let's hope the SEC follows suit. Unfortunately, Gary Gensler's absence may be required for that to occur, since I want to conclude this video and ask you a question in the comment part of the tweet I sent earlier today. 
if Ripple was genuinely engaging in fraud, the SEC likely would not have pursued them. Hello gentlemen, my inquiry to you if Ripple was in fact a scam business do you believe Ripple would be involved with the SEC at this time if they were genuinely doing fraud? Guys, based on the SEC's track record, have they not pursued FTX and Celsius but rather legitimate businesses? If Ripple was genuinely committing fraud today, I believe the SEC would have left them alone. In the comment box below, though, please share your thoughts. I believe it is an intriguing question, gentlemen. I wish everyone a wonderful evening. I hope everyone had a wonderful holiday break.